coming, but I knew I was in front of the darkest of any abyss, in front of Gerard Schaefer. I met uh, Gerard Schaefer when he was an applicant for a position as a deputy sheriff. What are you accused of? Well, I was accused of originally, originally accused of killing 34 women. Everything was proper and done according to the book, except I wanted to give him a scare. I, I made a legal, a legal arrest, and I abused the prisoners. Born in Wisconsin on March 25, 1946, Schaefer would be the oldest of three children. Later on, describing his upbringing as turbulent due to his father's excessive drinking and verbal abuse. In 1960, Schaefer's family would relocate to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And according to his doctor, at the age of 12, Schaefer would begin experimenting with his sexual fantasies, admitting to tying himself up to trees and hurting himself for sexual pleasure. And in time, Schaefer's sexual fantasies would take a more ominous turn. What are you accused of? Well, I was accused of originally, originally accused of killing 34 women, but nobody has ever managed to come up with 34 names, jurisdictions, or anything else. It's a false accusation. It's a false accusation. It's a false accusation. While I was interrogating Gerard Schaefer, he was pretending to be innocent. He was always full of smiles, very charming, but I knew I was in front of the darkest of any abyss, in front of Gerard Schaefer. I had literally the impression of a psychological rape on his behalf. Convicted murderer and suspected serial killer Gerard Schaefer would continue to claim his innocence while simultaneously touting his kill list to those interested. This would not only capture the attention of the general public, it would also attract the attention of infamous serial killer Ted Bundy himself. He told me that he had followed my case in the detective magazines and that he had killed two girls in Washington as a copycat crime, so to speak, on the place in Jessup. And I think those were Ott and Naseland. And he, was, he would tell me that he took them up on the logging road and, and strangled them and had sex with their corpses and went back and had sex with their corpses and cut off their heads. So he, he had 36. <laughs> he wanted to be the best. And he was obsessed because they said I had 34. And he was afraid that I had ones that he didn't know about. I'm the best, Ted. You're going to fry and I'm going to be here. And I'll be the best, just like they said. The number one. Mr. Stone had it all right. The best there ever was. And you're nothing. It was a time of innocence. A time when law enforcement was trusted by the people they were sworn to protect and serve. That time was shattered by one of law enforcement's own. His name was Gerard Schaefer. He was a former Florida police officer who lied his way into the office of the Martin County, Florida Sheriff's Office. Schaefer not only destroyed the lives of as many as 34 young women, he kept trophies of his kills and he lived the crimes over and over again. Let me thank you all for watching firstly. 
And if you did enjoy this, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And if you do have any stories, feel free to share them in the comment section below. Until next time, what do you think? Should we be afraid?